Hey hello guys it's How to Tag Simplified back again with another easy tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to actually fix it when your Roblox gives the low memory warning error. Now this is a very common error and this error means that you, uh, your PC doesn't have enough space or RAM to function the app properly. Now I'm going to give you steps to actually fix this problem so let's get straight into it. The first step that we're going to take is actually closing down the applications running in the background that take a lot of toll on our system. So by doing this, simply go down to the search bar, type in task manager right here, open up the application and this window will open up right here. Now we're looking for the memory tab right here. Now make sure to size it as properly so that the intensive programs are running on top. Now as you can see my Firefox takes a lot of toll on my system. So let's say you want to close this down. All you have to do is right click it, anti-task and that will save you around four gigabytes of memory now let's say you have a different uh, problem and your steam client is running in the background taking a lot of memory now what you can do is actually anti task and then the task will be ended and it will save you memory now let's head to the next step now what we want to do next is actually hop into the roblox application and from here start a random uh, experience now from here we are going to start it up real quick and as you can see I'm in the game and what you will do is go to the top left corner and go down to the settings now this is the in-game settings and here we will scroll all the way down till we find the graphics mode now make sure to put it at manual now most of the most of the time it's set it automatic simply put it to manual and make sure that it is not higher than four ticks so change it depending on your system and check which works for you the best now from here we're going to the last step of the tutorial now let's say you still run into problems the last step that you can take is actually by going down to the Microsoft Store so here open up the Microsoft Microsoft Store and from there type in Roblox. Now from here you can install the Roblox client from out your Microsoft Store. Now this will make sure that it is running the most stable version of Roblox and it will uh, often fix your issue. Now if you still get any other questions or if this tutorial has helped you please leave it in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe it helps me out a lot and thank you for watching.